Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing basically some changes with respect to documentation that's likely to be associated with the resumption of the test and go program February 1 of 2022. As we've discussed in other videos, test and go came online November 2021. It allowed for a massively, effectively quarantine-free entry to Thailand. You took an initial test at a, at a quarantine hotel, you stayed the night there, and then as long as it came up negative, you were free to go the next day. That's changed a little bit, as we've discussed in other videos. There's now an extra test associated with it, but for the most part, you're basically free to go after day one, so long as you test negative. In a recent article from the Bangkok Post, bangkokpost.com, this article kind of went a little deeper with respect to some of the documentation. Article is titled, Test and Go to Resume Feb 1 with Extra Test Requirement. Quoting directly, to be admitted under the Test and Go scheme, visitors will now have to produce proof of reservation at a Safety and Health Administration Plus certified hotel and prepay for the two COVID-19 tests they have to take, said Dr. Tawison. To ensure no guests leave without waiting for their COVID-19 test result, Hotels have been asked to put in place added security measures, he said. I did another video where I kind of posited the question, these guys are supposed to become like wardens now? It is a little bit, is a little bit odd. That said, the test and go has been, it appears to be coming back online in much the same way that it existed in the past. Again, there is an extra test required five days after arrival, but it's sort of, it's sort of as if, it's kind of like an expanded sandbox program. You're still gonna have to deal with another test, but if you come up negative the first night, you're free to walk around, you're free to go. You just have to deal with the second test after the five day period. And then if you come up negative on that, you're done. You just, you're just wandering around on your own. So it is, I think it's definitely an improvement over the current situation as we're looking at it here at the end of January, but we will keep you updated on, the on this channel as the overall situation evolves. 